Hi everyone, my name is Arfat and welcome to another landscape photography adventure this time around here in Nami Island Hey guys, welcome to another landscape photography adventure. My name is Arfat and if you're new to this channel, you're watching a travels film. And this channel is about photography and videography. Where for me, I like to do landscape photography. So I like to go out into the wilderness and shoot photographs. So if you're new here, thanks for coming and thanks for watching. So I've just been exploring Nami Island here. It's quite a huge island. And the weather is really cold here right now. It's about negative eight. And it's very peaceful and quiet at the same time. There are a couple of images that I want and I can foresee me getting some woodland images. I've not done research about this place before. I've only seen a drone video of this place on YouTube before coming here. But yeah, I like some elements of surprise. So I've been walking for a while now quite a distance and I've still not found an image to shoot or any image that I'm interested in shooting so I'm gonna keep on exploring it's quite a big island and I just kind of wait to take out my 5D Mark IV and then just oh it's overexposed and then just try to find some images I'm trying to avoid like snow images because I do not have the polarizer on and I've not owned one which I kind of regret right now but yeah so I'm just gonna explore to the other side of the island and see what else I can photograph the mood I'm feeling right now is super cold it's freezing and I'm trying to look for an image what I have in mind is Mostly woodland, something ethereal, something muted and less saturation. And but then of course that's all in the post-processing afterwards. But the switch arm here is very heavy. Yeah. I haven't found any woodland image or any mountains image. I didn't really can't really see any mountains here. Yeah, sorry if it's really underexposed, but I'm walking amongst the trees here and sometimes my face is covered by sunlight and sometimes my face is blocked by the tree trunks so conditions not really ideal to be shooting because it's around 11 in the afternoon and the sun's right out in the sky in front of me there and and I kind of hesitate about going to Nami Island because if you can't really tell I sound a bit nasally because I'm not feeling well at the moment and it's really cold. I'm still covering from my illness. Some photographers, landscape photographers in particular, they only like to go out during golden hour and shoot stuff only during golden hour, but it's something that I want to do as well. I mean, technically, if you go out during golden hour, you'll get better image, technically, most of the time. But I kind of just want to go out and photograph Nami Island as well even when conditions are not that great or not perfect at all at least I get to take home a few images that I might be proud of and some images that I can print 
and frame on the wall. Yeah, I'm still looking around here. There's nothing here much really. So I'm going to try going on the east side of the island. So that's where I'm going to now. It was really difficult for me to wake up this morning because it was really freezing cold and I almost thought about not going to Nami Island because first of all we're, we're gonna arrive here at around 11 and by the time the sun's already up high in the sky and conditions not perfect to be shooting landscape photography All right, I think I might have found an image Okay, I think I found a place to take a photo um, I'm gonna bring out my Mark IV here. Stop. I'm gonna ditch my glove because it's pointless. I can't use this glove to take photography. This time around, I'm gonna bring out my tripod because I have a lot more time here than previously. In I forgot what's the name of that place in my previous video. It's really hard taking out a tripod from this bag. Come on, man, photo. I'm gonna set up this tripod. It's really cold here without the gloves on. I really like this camera, even though it's not as good as the Nikon the 50 or the new Fuji GFX something, but it still does the job. So apparently I'm waiting for my turn to take the photograph and there's a group of photographers just holding this area man It's really annoying They've been here for the past like 15 minutes And I'm trying to take a photograph of this woodland here These trees and Take a look at them They've been there Selfish people man Really really selfish and unbelievable come on man so anyway while waiting for my turn I found another composition and it's here on the ground there are a bunch of leaves on the ground dried leaves and I thought they would make an interesting image so I'm gonna set up my Mark IV and I'm gonna take image of these leaves so what I've done here I've set up my tripod, I'm going for a fast shutter speed because it's a bit shaky and I'm at 1000, shutter speed 1000, f4, I'm gonna bump up to f9 and I'm gonna bump my ISO to ISO 400 and shutter speed, I'm gonna drop it down to about 200 of a second. So I'm gonna take this image. Yep, manual focus. Let's see. Alright. Ready to take the image. Take it. They're still hogging the the woodland. Same people, man. So I finally managed to capture this image. I'm at f11, ISO 400, and shutter speed of 200. 
and I've gone for a vertical crop finally <laughs> not time to pack and go to the next location Manfrotto tripod mount is stuck. Can take it out. But, so I have to twist my Mark 4 instead. Apparently, a Manfrotto product doesn't work in the call. Still not able to take it out. It's stuck. Come on. So I've set up my tripod just now to try and snap the images. But I just couldn't find a composition that I like. And again, my man proto tripod. It's stuck, the plate there it's stuck, so I don't really understand this. Probably is due to the cold, but really disappointing from Manfrotto. So I've gone down to the I don't know the the south of the or no not the south, the west of the island. And still looking for images. I mean if there's no images then it's it's fine. Tsunami Island has been great so far and I really enjoy being here despite the cold weather <laughs> despite the negative 8 weather but yeah Nami Island has been really great here something that I don't get to experience back in my country especially weathers like this and I've only captured like two images so far but I think that's enough and whenever I'm out trying to shoot some landscape I normally don't really think about I need to get an image every time I go out well for me it's all about being in the outdoors I love being in the outdoors so as I was saying the reason why I've decided to do landscape photography is because of my love for the outdoors and I used to, you know, just being around nature is really inspiring and I always feel refreshed whenever I, you know, spend a weekend doing landscape photography and then work on from Monday to Friday, I always feel re-energized and refreshed. I guess that's all for today's episode of Landscape Photography Adventure in Nami Island. 
my name is Arfat and I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya! Thank you.